few minutes to the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Bost, the chairman of the Committee on Veterans Affairs. The gentleman from Illinois is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and Chairman McCall. Just last month, I went to Del Rio sector of the U.S.-Mexican border to visit with our dedicated Border Patrol agents. Over 15,000 frontline Border Patrol agents are veterans, serving their country and communities again, working to keep America safe. However, our Commander-in-Chief has failed to give them the resources and structure they need to effectively do their job. They're pulling drowning children out of the river. They're finding bodies left behind in, that were being smuggled across and been thrown in the bushes. Speaker, these agents are fighting a new battle back at home as well. And that is the mental strain on them as, they, as the results of President Biden's open border policies cannot be ignored. So much of that VA had to deploy, so much so, that VA actually had to deploy a mobile veterans center to the border to offer, offer mental health services to our veterans and even our non-veterans agents, border agents who are there. Speaker, I heard it firsthand from the brave men and women that need this bill. Securing our borders shouldn't be a Republican or a Democrat issue. The people who suffer the most when we, when we make doing our hyper-political are the veterans, law enforcement officers, who are just simply trying to do their job. That's a disservice to them, and I want to urge my colleagues to support this common sense bill. It is vitally important. I've looked at them in the eye. And I would advise anyone on the other side of the aisle or on my side of the aisle that have not went down and looked them in the eye, you'll know what they're suffering through because we're not doing our job and the administration's not doing theirs. And that's why I encourage for the support of this bill. And with that, I yield back.